in the element or facebook community group uh this question here was asked about how to have an image carousel with a title above it that's changing uh, and it inspired me to have a bit of a look at different ways of working with the uh, image carousel uh, this is the standard elemental image carousel not a third-party plugin so what i've done is i've made up a bit of a demo of a few now the first carousel here is just a standard simple image carousel where we've set the caption to be the title of the image uh, which is set on the wordpress media uh, so there's nothing special about this it just uh, shows a, a title down the bottom uh, as you scroll through uh, the second one is exactly the same carousel setup um, but we've added some custom css to it so instead of displaying the title down the bottom here it moves it to the top of that item uh, puts a bit of a background on it and changes the style of the uh, title that's pretty straightforward the third one is a little bit more complex where we've got a uh, title above the carousel and as we change the carousel uh, the center item here it's taking the title off that highlighting that by making these other um, items that are not selected uh, less opaque so there's a bit of transparency on those uh, puts a slight uh, box shadow on there to highlight it but as we change through this so this particular item here is your sunny meadow as we can see up here uh, so now this gets a little bit tricky because the way these carousels work they use the uh, swiper javascript library um, and the item that swiper considers to be active is the one on the far left so if we just went off the active slide um, it would always be this far left slide now what we want to do which is more appealing is have the center slide uh, the one that's uh, considered to be active. Uh, now, that means we have to have an uneven number of slides, so three, five, seven, etc. And what we'll do with our uh, JavaScript when we look at this is we go, okay, so the active slide here is zero. So we want the this one here to be active, so it'll be zero plus one. If we had five slides being uh, displayed at the same time it'd be zero plus two so it'd be zero one two so this slide here would be the active one because there'd be two others the other side of it so it has to be an uneven number for this to have a centered effect uh, now let's go to the actual code okay so here's the actual code so uh oops as I said before, I've zoomed in quite a bit here so we can see, see this a lot easier. Uh, so if we have a look at our first carousel, very simple image carousel. So from Elemental it would be just a uh, this image carousel here. And offset the size to be 768. Um, and in the options down here, uh, where have we got it? Sorry, I'm just looking for the option to stretch. Sorry, we've got image stretch so that it fits within that box. That's the only two things I've done. I've set the image size to 768 and the image stretch to yes, so that it either expands to fill that box or contracts to fill the box if it's big. The only other thing we do here is we set the caption to the title. So where it gets the title from is if we look at the actual media and look at the three I've selected, when you click on the first one, this is our standard WordPress attributes. When you upload media, um, you can set all, this, uh, uh, all these attributes. In this case, I'm using the title tag. We can use the caption, we can use the description, whatever you like. Um, for this demo, I'm using the title tag. So as long as we set a title on each of these, uh, it will work with our carousels. So we set the caption to the title, 
Now on a simple standard image carousel with no custom JavaScript, no custom CSS, it will put that title underneath that in italics. That's a simple image carousel. Okay, so the second version of this is exactly the same as the first, the way we set it up. So if we looked at this carousel here, exactly the same settings. Uh, same options, everything's exactly the same. The only difference is on this carousel, if we look at the advanced custom CSS, I'm looking at the selector, which is the container, and then each of the swiper slide inner, so every item uh, will set the positioning to relative. Now, if you don't know CSS, what this does is it says that item is now setting the reference point for anything that's absolutely positioned uh, within it. So by making that relative, when we say top and left, top and left is the top left of this box because that's the relative box. Um, we then look at the uh, swipe slide in it and then the fig caption. The fib caption is what this title up here is encapsulated in. Um, and we set the position to absolute Set the top to zero, so it goes to the top of the container, the width to be 100%, so it fills the container. Uh, and then we'll just put some padding on it, align at the center, and set a background of a um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is black, and then 47, which is our opacity. Uh, and then we set the text color to white. And that is all there is to this. That's the only difference between the stock standard option. And this option is this custom CSS that we put on the uh, on the actual slider, or the image carousel, I should say. Okay, so the third option. Again, the carousel is set up exactly the same way as the other two. Um, we look at the custom CSS for that. And a couple of other things that we've done here is we've set the slides. So every slide, we've set the opacity to 0.6. So we want it to be slightly transparent. That looks like it's a bit faded. Uh, you can do whatever you like with that. We can add an overlay to it, we, whatever you want to do. Uh, and we set a line height of zero. Now, the reason we do that is, is some element in here which adds a little bit of extra spacing at the bottom. Um, so if we apply any borders or any box shadows, there's kind of a little white section at the bottom. Uh, by setting the, the line height to zero, it kills all of that extra spacing. I haven't looked into where that's coming from, so that was just a quick, simple fix. We then take that caption, which is the we saw up here, and we tell it we don't want to see it. So we just set that to display none, and that gets rid of the caption down the bottom here. Um, we then go swipe a slide selected, and I'll explain the JavaScript which does this, but it's a bit later. Uh, and we want to set the opacity out to one. So the one that's selected, we want to be fully opaque. We want to put a box show on and we put a Z index on it of 999 to make sure that it's one that's out in front of everything else. That's pretty much all the CSS that we've done for this. Okay, now the JavaScript. I'm not going to go through the JavaScript lesson here. I'm just going to go through basically what we're achieving with this JavaScript. So first thing to look at is we need to get a reference to our carousel title. So this title up here, because we want that title to change when the uh, slider selection changes. And we need to get a reference to the actual carousel itself. So this carousel here. So when we look at the um, title, We've got to set an ID on it. So carousel image title, I've called this one. And we look at the uh, carousel, I've given it an ID of image carousel. So we need to set those so that I can get a reference to those. Now this index offset. So what I mentioned before is that the swiper here considers the far left um, element to be the current slide. 
So we don't want that to be the highlighted one. We want the one in the center to be the highlighted one. So because we've got three slides being displayed in this case, I want the far left one plus one. That's what this offset is here. If we had five being displayed, it'd be the far left plus two. So then the one in the center is the one that's uh, being selected. So we then have a bunch of code here which actually listens to the slide change. So whenever the slide changes, it calls the select, sorry, the set selected function. Set selected function basically gets whichever one's active, so that'll be the far left one. We add the index offset to it, so in this case we've said that plus one. Um, we remove the selected class from all of the slides, and then we set the active class to be on the one that we want to be active, so this would be the left plus one, for the index offset, and set that to selected. Um, and then we get the text from the caption that would be below that slide. We've got hidden, so that'd be in this case the night up here. Um, we get that text, and then we set the um, title um, to be that caption text. That's pretty much how this JavaScript works. So I'll save this entire page as a template, uh, which I'll put a link to in the YouTube description. Um, so you can import this. You don't have to worry about uh, how all of this works. Just understanding that you need to have an offset um, for which one you want selected from the left. So zero plus one or zero plus two if you've got five slides. Uh, so you need to understand that. You need to understand that on the title, we need to set the um, carousel image title in this case. On the carousel, we need to set the ID to image carousel. Uh, and then in the JavaScript, we need to make sure that these match whatever we set those IDs. That's pretty much it. So I'll save this template um, and I'll link to it in the YouTube description so you don't have to worry about uh, copying and pasting all the code. You just import the template, delete the stuff you don't want, and away you go. Okay, so hopefully that's going to help someone.